What's up, guys? Free Nachos here, back again with another Madden 20 uh, gameplay video. We are live streaming from Twitch, uploading all these episodes to YouTube. And last episode, we had beaten several teams, including the Steelers, the Ravens, um, the 49ers, and some others. And we are now... In first place in our division, we're at 11 and 1. That one loss came in, I think, week four or five when I simmed a game against the, the Buccaneers and we lost. So we have actually not lost any game that we've played in so far. And we're getting ready to play the Seahawks. So let's get into it. Coach, we've got a tough matchup this week. We've got to figure out a way to shut down Russell Wilson. Uh, he always finds a way to move the ball downfield. There's no such thing as a broken play when he's on the center. Got any ideas? We're going to just try to slow him down. We're just going to play a conservative. Um, so now we have to hold him to 250 passing yards, which we should be able to do. Our defense has been playing really well. X-Factor linebacker. He's a leader of that defense, man. Smart, fast. We're going to try to slow him down. First time we played the Seahawks, he was all over the field hit sticking everybody causing fumbles all that stuff so now we're going to have one or fewer turnovers that's our goal um, we did get todd Gurley back healthy and now we have to make up for lost time the next couple games we're going to be pounding him hard trying to get as much yardage as touchdowns as we can uh, let's go into our scouting and do our weekly scouting quickly. Uh, nobody really intriguing there. I guess this guy. He has pretty good play recognition. Let's go in here. Nothing. Let's go do a deep dive into some corners. Yeah, nobody really intriguing, it looks like, back through here. All right, so let's get into the gameplay. We're at home this time. So we'll see what we can do. It's girly power. It's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, running back Todd Gurley. Fresh off a standout performance a week ago, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Los Angeles Rams. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday night football. And on the call, as always, if you guys are Rams fans, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. I'd love to see you. Love to talk with you a little bit about the upcoming season. Matter of fact, no matter what team you are, go ahead and leave a comment. What team are you rooting for this year? And ready to watch their Rams do battle with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Need to get our comment section a little bit more active. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Just a reminder, we are playing on all pro difficulty. And I have turned all music in the menu off for copyright reasons, just to give you guys information on that. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're going to run the ball. Right out the gate, they're running the ball. Oh, dang. No, quick pass. No gain on the dump off. It's second down. Throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quick. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson, he gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. Oh, nice like pass breakup. It. it really gets them amped up as they go forward. I'll tell you, the They'll strength of the Seattle Seahawks is not there, their receivers. connect. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Look familiar, anybody? <laughs> Mikhail Roby Coleman breaking up another pass. With this physicality. Oh, Bobby's upset. Bobby Wagner is upset. on the ground for Gurley last week. 15 carries, 76 yards. And as we discovered in talking with the coaching staff prior to the game, going up against a team that struggled against the run has only emboldened them to run the football more. I expect 40 to 50 carries in this game. What? Come on. From the 35 on second down. Golf. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Wide open. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for them on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now gone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And okay, result, see how that corner on the left the on the inside is not really in front of anybody? That's showing me that he's blitzing. Second and 10, golf again. Throw left side, complete so a quick to throw cup. out to Cup. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing on third. Golf. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. Holding offense. What? So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. What is going on with their defense? Third and long, it's gone. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Son of a bitch. Bobby Wagner able to record his fifth sack of the season. And when you go five... There's that Bobby Wagner again. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Wow. Don't ever go away. 
We blitzed, and he wasn't even touched until he's 15 yards downfield. If you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding way Remind to me not to do that again. And not let them affect go, go, go. you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They keep it with Penny on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, where that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers. You're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A look at the numbers from Penny last week. 21 carries, 99 yards. On second down, here's Penny. I was hoping to have the same type of game. Had a way to rally to that football. Good job. Defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try and find some people open downfield. Hey, hey, we are start offense. So that'll back him up five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. From the shotgun, Wilson. Nice. The throw there gonna be incomplete. Nice play to leave. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your No way, dude! The football, it's loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. It's fucking dumb. Thanks, O-line. Thanks. Just leave me wide open to two fucking linebackers. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. Space to maneuver at the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. Now I'm upset. Now we're just going to steamroll these Seahawks. Scoring points they didn't earn. The interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also right with the rep. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 37 yards. And this will probably be. Oh, Todd Gurley's in the zone now. For an offense that has You've not made him found upset. the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They've got it first and goal at the seven. And that'll get them halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Cooper Cup. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Rams are an extra point That's away what you get, Seahawks. Now we're going to shut you down. Game. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. From the gun, here's gone. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, They'll take an 8-7 lead.
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. All right, Seahawks, a prepare. And prepare yourselves. The -yard line. Out comes the Seattle offense. We take a peek at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about what the playoffs were to begin today. Nice and coverage, kind of Aki. Okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Nice. They try to throw on second Force down, that in completion. this one is incomplete. Coverage was excellent downfield. I think he was more throwing that football away than anything else. Yeah, absolutely, because everywhere you looked, they were covered. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and be convinced that there's no place to fit in the football than to go ahead and force it. Yeah, it boy. Goes on the pressure mm. from the Rams defense. Samson Abuka in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. That's what you get, Seahawks. Now I'm about to go score again. Hey man, hey man, watch the boot, watch the boot. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk about football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Four yards the pickup, first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move. Oh, come on, Whitworth. You've got to hold the block more than that. So he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Oh, my God, again? The Seahawks have picked it up. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. So, so stupid. The defense there, everything, everything is just aimed it's against It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it I can't believe it. Knocked it free, let's made go, a big play. It. Right off the bat, it's I tried to cover the ball up and everything. Drive 12 yards. Interior that still didn't matter. Blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. You want to know what the funny part is? I, I already decreased the fumble frequency in the, in the settings. I call that play a success. And it's still happening in an alarming rate. Sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized. Executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. 
How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Yeah, baby! Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he's gonna Get go down, down, boy. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Now it's Wilson. He's got the tight end, Vanette. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the Rams will signal for the, the offense hasn't done there's... anything. Literally the only reason they're winning is because of these stupid fumbles. Still one more game to get to here to polish off week 14, and that's tomorrow night for Monday Night Football. Should be a cold one in Philly. The Giants and the Eagles coming your way at 8.15 Eastern time. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much. Now the ball comes Again! Loose, and the Seahawks have picked it up. What, what am I doing wrong? Field position I am so upset. At the 47 yard line in enemy territory. I am so upset. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back to back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game. It's film, so overpowered. If they manage to win the game. Every hit he makes is a big is a big hit. Every single one. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. This will be caught inside the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. And I cover up the ball again as well. It didn't matter. That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired up. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Now Wilson over the middle. That's caught by Metcalf. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 this dude, seconds. This dude is going to have three force fumbles or the more Ram this game. Fans in this it's ridiculous. On their feet, third and goal. Wilson. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 oh, range, maybe a little Wait. over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. A good pickup there, a 22. 
but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw is gone. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. All right, we kicked that field goal. We got to run this ball. And now out on the field, here comes Away from Los Bobby Angeles. Wagner because he's literally they all the they lead. have. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. There's no way he'd be able to bully around all those guys like that. Way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you're all looking for some separation. Every single guy the hit tackle the guy makes the adjustment. without a doubt <laughs> is, is a thing, hit stick. Hit him with something else. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Throwing on second down. Ball. He'll get this one to cop complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. That's right. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move Interference. The and a flag comes in as that one falls Defense. incomplete. Defense. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, they frustrated oh, these receivers down. tonight, really held down the passing game, but there got the penalty. Fine line between aggressive, good coverage, and interference, and they crossed it on that play. 180. Watch 54. Watch 54. Here we go, D, get off the field. On first and goal, Gurley. And no way, dude. Yardage back to the three. There's no way anybody's that good. Two yards in the wrong direction. That leads to Nobody down. is that good. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Yeah, and suck he it. takes it across for a Rams suck touchdown. It. Malcolm Brown, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Rams add on to their 